Hey guys, the world would say another day, another dollar, but I'm here to tell you it's another day for us to serve and seek God with all our hearts. Why? So that we can receive more revealed knowledge of who he is and who we are in him. Amen. Hey, we've been talking about this uh, guy walking around the rodeo arena or the cutting or the roping and, and he's got his little boy with him and boy, the, the little boy looks just like daddy. I mean, he dresses like him, walks like him, talks like him, acts like him. And uh, why does he do that? Because he loves dad so much and he wants to be just like dad. He wants to hang out with dad. He wants to be dad. And uh, we should be the same way with our walk with God. We should be so in love with God, these cotton picking flies, we should be in so in love with God that we want to be just like daddy. And uh, we remember, remember yesterday we talked about Colossians chapter 1 and verse 10, I'm sorry, verse 9, do not lie to one another since you have put off the old man and his deeds and have put on the new man who is renewed in knowledge according to the image of him who created him. And again, once again, there it tells us that this new man has a renew mind, renew mind, renewed mind to the things of God so that we understand the very image of God. Well, now if we look in Galatians, chapter 3, starting with verse uh, 26, it says, For you are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. Have put on Christ. What does it mean to put on Christ? See, it says that we were baptized with him. We were baptized in death, burial, and resurrection with him. And now we're to put on Christ. What does that mean? Well, if we look in Acts chapter 1 and verse 8, Jesus tells his disciples, But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. This is, this is what Jesus is saying. There's going to come a time in this relationship with me that you are going to be endued with power to be witnesses. Well, that takes me to Matthew chapter 28. Hang on, I'll get there. Matthew chapter 28. This is uh, just before the ascension of Jesus Christ. And he says to his disciples, he says, All authority has been given to me in heaven and in earth. In other words, what he accomplished at Calvary has given him all authority. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I've commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. What Jesus is, say, is saying to us, and, and that we call it the Great Commission, is now that you've received this power because of what I've done, and this authority because of what I've done, the Holy Spirit now is going to place that upon you, and you're going to be witnesses to me. People are going to see me in you, my life being lived out through you. Now, when we say put on Christ, I want you to understand that Christ is not Jesus' last name. His mother was not Mary Christ. His father was not Joseph Christ. Christ speaks of the anointing. As a matter of fact, when we look at it, it says uh, Christ, uh, Jesus, the anointed one. That's what it means, the anointed one. Well, what's he anointed to do? He's anointed with a, a power and authority. And now we see him here placing that mantle on you and I saying, now that I've accomplished what I came to do, I now can give you that power and authority to go be witnesses for me. So when we put on Christ, we're really putting on his mantle. We're putting on this power and this authority in order for us to be witnesses for him here on this earth. There's a lot more to this. Boy, you better not miss the next couple days as we continue to talk about putting on Christ and what that means to you and I as Christians. Christians. Putting on Christ. Think about that. We'll talk about it tomorrow. Hey, Jesus loves you. We love you. We pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.